In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT Zapier plugin with Google Sheets. I'm going to show you three different ways and actions that you can perform through Zapier on your Google Sheets, including creating a new worksheet, retrieving any data from your table, as well as how you can create a new row automatically inside Google Sheets. If you're interested in tech, AI and automation, definitely subscribe down below. I post every single week. All right, let's get started. First thing is that you have to have a Zapier account. And then the second thing is that you have to have the plugin installed. If you don't have the plugin installed, you simply go to plugin store and then you simply go and search for Zapier and you hit the green button to install it. We're then going to be redirected to zapier.com to create account. They have a free option that is well enough for you to start using Zapier. All right, so the first thing is that you have to create something called Zapier actions. You have to set up specific actions that you then refer to in your prompts. You can access this link where you create your actions simply by just asking ChatGPT to do that. But as you have only 25 messages every three hours, if you want to save on the number of messages, you can go to this website, which I'm gonna link down below. All right, so you simply go and add a new action over here, and then you can choose from any actions that you like and set it up. I have already done that to save time. So uh, let's start with create worksheet. If I click on this action, you can see that the first one was to uh, choose which specific action I want to work with. So I chose Google Sheets, create worksheet. You then also get a small description about what this does. So this one is going to create a blank worksheet with a title. You then have to connect your account to Zapier. You can do it directly on this link through these buttons. So you can click on connect new and then you are going to be redirected to login into your Google Sheet account or you can go to your zapier.com account. And then in my apps, uh, you can see that I already have the connections established. So you can click on add connection and then you can simply look for any app here. They have over 5,000 of them. And then you simply just log in into an app, give Zapier access. And so then you have them saved directly in Zapier so you don't have to worry about it. In each action, you have different fields. So in this one, we have spreadsheet and title because as we want to make this as automated as possible, we are going to just leave it for AI to guess. But you can also set up a specific value for this field. So you have some additional options here. The one that you should be aware of is that you can also name this action with any name you would like. Instead of me copying Google Sheets, create worksheet, I could name this action simply create worksheet. It's going to be shorter, and then I'm going to be able to refer to that directly in ChatGPT. But in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is, and then we are done. I'm going to activate the plugin in this chat, and then I'm going to write my first prompt, which is going to be create a worksheet in Google Sheets. Give it a title, ChatGPT test worksheet. I'm going to send this. And as you can see, because we have the connection set up and because the action is also created, in this case, Zapier automatically recognized which action it should use. So we didn't have to paste the exact name of the action. If you get an error, I would recommend you to copy and paste the name of the action. So then Zapier knows which one you are talking about. All right, I have prepared the action to create a new worksheet titled ChatGPT test worksheet in Google Sheets. To confirm and run this action, please review and confirm it here. You can click on this one and it's going to open a new window. It looks all right. We are going to run this and then we get a confirmation. So we can go into our sheet, reload this. And actually we have the new sheet down here. All right, the next example I'm going to show you is how you can look up a data directly inside your table. So let's say that in this case, we have this huge table, but if this is a long list and we just want to get the information about Scott, we can use Zapier to do that. So if we go to uh, our actions, here we are going to go to action that we have created before. Here we are going to click on a Google Sheets, lookup spreadsheet row. I have already set up this action. I simply chose action, Google Sheets, lookup spreadsheet row. This action is going to find a row by a column and value. It returns the entire row if one is found. Then I also connected my Google Sheet account here. And then we have four different values that we are going to let AI guess. We have spreadsheet, worksheet, lookup column and lookup value. Spreadsheet is the higher level of worksheets, so you can have multiple worksheets directly inside Spreadsheet. So Spreadsheet is leads, 
and then we have multiple worksheets here. All right, and then because we know that this action requires four different inputs for AI to guess the value, we are going to include all of them inside our prompt. So here I wrote lookup Gary in the spreadsheet named leads and worksheet named sheet one. The column is contact and the lookup value is Gary. Retrieve all the accessible data about this lead. We are going to send this. All right, we got the results uh, and we just have to click on the link. And right now we can just double check everything. Spreadsheet leads, worksheet sheet one, lookup column, contact, lookup value, Gary. Looks great. We are going to hit run. We got the confirmation here. And then we can also click on show results details. Here you can see that the results are showing all the uh, result field labels. So that's our columns and then all the values for Gary. So this is where you can find the results, but you can also right now just ask ChatGPT to summarize this for you. I'm going to write, please retrieve the data and summarize it here for me. I'm going to send this. The Zapier has been used and right now we got the results. So we have trade, concrete, phone number, email, address, city, zip, and geostatus. All this data is actually about Gary. So let's just double check. We have uh, Gary, that's concrete. Then we have uh, email address, PO box, and then we have paid in full. Concrete, PO box, paid in full. All right, it looks correct. All right, and the third example I'm going to show you in Google Sheets is going to be creating a new row directly inside our table. So here we are going to use this action, create spreadsheet row. I'm going to click on this and I have already filled out the information. So we save some time, but again, we have action. Then we have the description. It's going to create a new row in a specific spreadsheet. We connected the account and then I chose a specific spreadsheet where I want to create the new row. In this case, I didn't leave it for have AI guess the value. I just knew where I specifically want to create the lead. So I went and uh, set a specific value. Spreadsheet is again leads. Then we have worksheet, which is sheet one. So we have leads, then we have sheet one. And then I'm going to have AI guess all the values for all the columns. I'm going to hit done. And because in this case, I set up a specific spreadsheet and worksheet where I want to create the row, I can just actually copy this exact name of this action. And then I'm going to say using the exact name of the action here. I just uh, copied and paste the uh, name of the column with the specific value that I want to have in this row. I'm going to send this. And here in this example, maybe it would be beneficial to rename this action to be shorter. So for example, I could have just named it create spreadsheet row in the additional settings that I showed you before. But it's also easy to copy and paste. All right, and we got the results. So we can once again click on the link and confirm. We are going to just double check, but it looks fine. We have all the data that you have seen in the actions, and then we have the values that we wanted to allocate inside each column. We are going to run this action, right? We got the confirmation. So here we can just scroll down and we have it here. We have a completely new row with all the information that we included inside our prompt. All right, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in Zapier and ChatGPT, definitely subscribe down below because I post every single week. Thank you so much and have a great day.